Hey everybody, Cole here with Classic Mini DIY, and on today's first episode of the Turbo Build, we are going to be installing the Avon Bar Phase 2 camshaft. So, stay tuned for that. All right, as I said on today's episode, I have picked up a phase two turbo camshaft from Avon Bar Racing. We are gonna be installing that on my Classic Mini's engine today, and we're gonna be doing that without taking the gearbox off. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that. It's something that you can do if you have an engine stand and uh, a few other special requirements, which I'll go over um, in the next part of this video. But before we get started, I do wanna mention something I am super, super excited about. And that is a brand new t-shirt design from my buddy, Classic Mini Milo. He and I partnered up and he designed this absolutely awesome Turbo HIF44 uh, illustration. And this is now available on the Classic Mini DIY merch store. Um, the link to that is in my description. This is available on shirts, on wall art, and then soon it will also be available on stickers. I am absolutely over the moon with this design and I hope you guys enjoy it too. Um, if you are interested in picking one of these up, all of the proceeds of this are going straight into this turbo build. This turbo build is turning out to be really, really expensive. So if it's something that you are enjoying and you like seeing this on the channel, um, consider checking that out and maybe consider using that as a way to support the build and supporting the videos that are gonna be coming up here in the next couple of months. Now all of that out of the way, we do have the engine out of the car already. The last video you probably saw in relation to my car was removing the supercharger, going a different route, and, uh, and past that I haven't made another video about this stuff yet. And that's because, um, you know, I have pulled the engine on the car a few times. I went ahead and pulled that out. I got all of that stuff done so that we can jump straight into the turbo build itself. Now this build is going to be really, really exciting. There's gonna be a lot of new stuff around how a turbo build works, how a turbocharger works, all of that is gonna be coming up here in the near future. So stay tuned for all of that. I'm really, really excited to share this with you guys. But without further ado, let's jump over to the engine and start replacing the camshaft so that we have a more suitable cam for the turbo build as it were. All right, so we can kind of find ourselves here in a bit of an unusual position, and that is with the engine completely upside down. You'll notice my entire engine is completely flipped upside down. And now the reason we're doing this is because I am going to be removing the camshaft out of my engine and replacing it with the new camshaft that we just got from Avon Bar. Now for some engines, this might not be necessary with it out like this. Um, there are some engines with tappet covers on the back side of the block here which allow you easy access to, to actually get the lifters that are on the camshaft, the little circular cylindrical lifters, um, get those out without flipping up the engine like this and making sure they don't fall out. Now in my setup, not gonna be an option. And that is specifically because I have this enclosed on the back here. If I was to simply pull the camshaft out of the engine now, all of the tappets, all those lifters would fall right down into the sump and then I'd have to take the gearbox off. And I'm trying to avoid doing that because I don't really wanna tear that apart and have to replace the gaskets and the transfer case, all that stuff, trying to avoid that. Now you might find something interesting here. This is a crank position sensor. And the way that this works is it is reading the teeth of this management wheel here, this pulley with uh, teeth on it. And what we'll do is knock one of these teeth out and this sensor will see when that tooth is knocked out and then be able to measure that crank position um, you know, when that tooth is gone. So that's something I'll get into in a later episode, but for right now, we need to remove this pulley since this is just a test fit so that we can get into the duplex timing chain and gears over here. This MED cover makes it really, really easy for me to get these gears out without having to break the seal on everything. So let's take the sucker off. Now, 
Now, before we get into this, one thing I do want to show you guys is that this management pulley is actually from MED. It's brand new, um, got a little bit of oil on it, but this can be run with or without a damper. Um, on the early Cooper S engines, these didn't have any sort of a harmonic balancer, any sort of dampener on it. But in my case, I'm definitely gonna run a harmonic balancer here because I just want to reduce the engine vibrations as much as I can. You can see this has a V-belt pulley on it. Pretty straightforward stuff. Really, really nice piece of kit from MED. Next up is the fun part, and that is actually removing the camshaft from its home here. Um, so uh, all we really have to do is take these three bolts out, and then the whole camshaft should slide out of here um, and be pretty easy from there. Uh, the main thing is that we are going to kind of want to jiggle it as we're taking it out to kind of allow the lifters inside here or the tappets, whatever you want to call them, they need to fall down and kind of sit in place. All right, and there we have it, camshaft removed. Now, looking at this camshaft, I mean, obviously this was brand new when it went in, um, and that was less than 200 miles. It really doesn't have barely anywhere on it whatsoever. Um, so this is gonna go up for sale. So if you guys want this, um, this is effectively the VMAX 264. I think it, I think that's supposed to be a four. Um, and uh, yeah, this is gonna be on my eBay store if you are watching this video. Um, otherwise, everything is looking really, really good. All right, so now we have our brand new phase two camshaft from Avon Bar. Now this camshaft, we need to put new cam lube on before it can go back in here. Um, you don't wanna rely on solely the lubrication of your engine to break in this cam. Now, luckily my lifters are already broken in. Um, however, the cam is not. So um, cam lube is where, so that is where cam lube comes in. Now we wanna make sure that we get a good bit, a uh, good helping on all of our lifters here. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and really gum this stuff on here to make sure that we can knock this cam in and it doesn't have any sort of damage done to it. Now getting this cam in here is gonna be a little bit difficult um, only because we are going to be putting this in and this is a slot drive camshaft so this needs to mate with the actual oil pump on the other side. Um, and normally we'd have the engine open, which would make this super easy to do. Um, but in our case, with the way that we're doing this now, we will not have direct access to that oil pump. So this could be a little fiddly, but once we get it in there, it should be in good shape. There we go. Slotted into our oil pump. 
Now we have our camshaft installed and now we can move on to reinstalling our cam gears and then we're going to have to degree this camshaft. Now in the case of the phase two camshaft from Avon Bar, it needs to be degreed in at 180 degrees before top dead center. Now technically the cam that I had in here before was already degreed at 108. That said, because this is a new cam with a different profile, we do need to degree this again to make sure that it is correct. Um, so what we're gonna do is reinstall our gears and then with the MED timing gears that we have, it makes it a ton easier for me to um, actually degree this with the, the head off and um, the adjustable nature of those gears. So let's get those on. And at this point, we can also rotate the engine um, around so that we're gonna have a better view from the top. The lifters are no longer going to fall out. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to wrap up this episode of Classic Mini DIY and kind of the first episode of the turbocharged build. Obviously, we got the camshaft in, we got the timing gears back on, we've got everything in time, and we went ahead and put the head back on the engine, which is super exciting. The engine is largely starting to look like itself again, and now we are in the game of waiting. Um, so we got to wait for our exhaust manifold, we've got to wait for our downpipe, we've got to wait for the intercooler. Um, all of these things are coming from Fusion Fabrications and the car kitchen, so it might be a little bit before we get to move on to the next stage of the turbo build. But while we're waiting, if you guys want to see some of the behind the scenes and early footage and early sneak peeks of stuff, um, I do have a Patreon, that's patreon.com forward slash classic mini DIY. 
you like these episodes and like the videos, maybe consider supporting me on Patreon. Now the next episode, we are gonna finally be putting the glass back in my mini. Um, the rear quarter windows are finally going back in after getting re-chromed. And we're gonna finish putting together this gearbox right back here. So stay tuned for both of those episodes. And I have a really big announcement coming up soon. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Very excited about this. You guys might be able to guess what it is just based on the noise and the sound, the echo inside this room right now. So uh, if you have any guesses, post that in the comment section below. But anyways, until I see you guys in the next episode, you know the drill. Enjoy those minis and motor on.